With less than a year to go until Brexit, editors remind us of the day they heard the referendum outcome for lead guitarist Justin Lockie, a dark day in the UK. Brexit was a really dark day when that happened. Um, because I think as, you know, liberal types that we, we are, especially me and you, um, you kind of have that false hope that everyone's going to do the right thing. And then we woke up, we played Glastonbury. We woke up at Glastonbury that morning when that vote happened. And uh, it was quite distressing, mm. wasn't it? You were really distressed. Uh, yeah, it, it affected me. You know, I, I don't think... I read an interview of Jurgen Klopp this week and he was talking about how he feels that um, people seem to have voted us out of something that obviously wasn't um, perfect, of course, it, when, it, when it was created it wasn't perfect, but it gave us all a sense of unity and, and if anybody tries to just be exclusive and stay on their own and, and work on their own without the help and guidance of other, others emotionally and uh, politically, you're kind of going to make a mess of it. And I don't think we'll live in a peaceful time if we're disconnected from the rest of the world. And at this time, with everything else that's going on, with all the conflicts, it just seems to make no sense at all to cut our ties with our best friends. I mean, yeah. it's <laughs> to me, it's utterly insane and it makes me very upset for the future of our country. It feels like we've done something of which is instead of growing in culturally, scientifically, politically, we've done something that enable that's essentially just going to allow the next generation to spend time that they could have used doing something creatively and useful trying to undo it. Violence, the title song of the new album by UK indie favourites, Editors. The band's sixth studio album reflects the times we live in. They're promoting it with a tour. So I never really see musicians as, as, as politicians, but you know, we have our own thoughts on things. I think you know, the state of the world as it is now, with like, the rise of the right, populism on the rise in like, Austria, America, like death of the free in the, of the free press in Hungary. And I think our songs kind of fit into where we are at the moment. And they have serious issues with Britain too, over bombings and Brexit. We're not quite at Hungary levels of uh, suppression. I don't think you ever will. It's the kind of country that would take that. But then, <clears throat> you know, that's the same saying that. It's the same country that bombed Syria without any authorization from parliament and is leading the country into its worst decision in generations. Justin Lockie is the lead guitarist behind the riff that gave power to Hallelujah, so low. Editor's frontman Tom Smith wrote the lyrics after a visit with Oxfam to a Syrian refugee camp in Greece. It resonates with the fans. Tom had certain feelings about his trip and wrote some lyrics to go along, sort of reflecting on those feelings. I don't know, something quite magical happened when, when Justin came up with this huge guitar riff. It doesn't instantly relate to refugee camps, but I don't know, we, we captured a moment in that room, you know, and, and that's the way kind of the best songs come out. Darkness at the Door is the third single from the album. On tour, the new material's gone down well, even the latest, more electronic songs. New stuff, I think, is sounding mega, and it feels that people are really responding to it. Bringing Blank Mass in, that's something we've never done before. He's a really heavy electronic producer and something that we were listening to and thought could work very well with our brand of music. Luckily, he was up for it. And we create some pretty decent results. 
The Euronews editor's chat came just a few days after the death of young Swedish DJ and producer Avicii. It's revived the debate about the pressure faced by artists in the music industry. The pressures are there, the pressures are very real. The temptation to, you know, um, take, alleviate that pressure by taking drink or drugs or, you know, doing things that aren't necessarily the best for you is always there, of course. It's not surprising when you hear of musicians passing away young. Um, I think the pressure and the mental health of musicians is something that's never talked about, something that's never, that's always kind of brushed under the carpet because it's not very glamorous, it's not very sexy to talk about. After a first leg of European shows, editors have taken violence on tour to the US, but they'll be back in Europe for the summer festival season. Oh,